Hey, what's up guys? So I just want to do a quick video to show you the integration with the Redenso RCM and the ALP and what it looks like when you pair the two together. Uh, as you can see, the Redenso RCM is now going to be going off when the ALP detects laser, and there's also directional information to tell you if the signal's front or back, and the ALP LED also lights up red for front and yellow for rear. Uh, I noticed the sound with the Redenso RCM is different than the traditional ALP sound. True speed ahead. And the RCM also does not ID what laser that you're shot with. Uh, that is actually going to be coming with a firmware update in the future, but right now it just says laser and then an arrow front or rear. JTK is pretty straightforward. When you detect laser, just press any of the buttons and it'll go ahead and kill your jammers for you. And then we also have a couple different options as far as the jammer. So we can turn the jammer off altogether. Uh, we've got the Genevo FF, I believe a European jammer, and then we've got the ALP. Now if we go into the ALP's option, we can turn the parking assistance on or off. So if you want the parking sensor functionality, you've got that there. And then we can also control how long the jammer actually jams for. Uh, we can either turn off the jamming here completely, or we can do a couple different options, anywhere from one through nine seconds, or unlimited jamming for testing. And then to JTK, you just press any of the buttons here. Now, as far as updating the ALP, that's actually done through the ALP itself. Uh, the RCM has a USB port, which you use to update the uh, Redenso itself, the radar detector, but the ALP, it's still its own kind of standalone system that just bridges and connects to the Redenso for the interface and the controls. And so uh, updating the ALP is still done with the ALP USB drive, and then the uh, the Redenso is done with the Redenso USB drive. Uh, I was curious to see if you could update the ALP over Bluetooth. So I tried taking the Redenso controller and plugging it into the Bluetooth module, which then plugs into the ALP CPU. Uh, that actually didn't work. It gave me an error on the Redenso. And so you can't use uh, Bluetooth and the Redenso simultaneously. You're gonna have to update the ALP using USB, uh, just like you're gonna be doing. Uh, for the Redenso. Another quick note, the Redenso has GPS itself as well, but if you're doing some ALP functionality that requires uh, GPS, such as you're using one of the TX sensors, uh, that is still going to require GPS antenna plugged into the ALP, so uh, you could actually have two GPS antennas, one for the ALP and one for the Redenso. Uh, those are not shared, um, it's just again kind of the uh, the controls and the display and the audio alerts and whatnot. Uh, now the way that this works to kind of pair them together, there's two ways of doing it. One is, uh, if you already have an ALP, you can just get a, a bridge cable. Uh, you can buy it online, and it basically plugs in from the Redenso CPU, the laser port, uh, into the control pad port on the ALP. So you unplug the control pad or Hi-Fi or Bluetooth, and you plug in the Redenso CPU instead. That's how that works. Um, if you don't have an ALP yet, uh, what you can do is Redenso actually sells an ALP kit that you can buy online. Or sorry, you can't buy it online. You can only buy it from uh, local distributors. And the idea with that one is it's essentially an ALP triple, uh, so three heads, without the control pad since you're not going to be using it, and instead it comes with the bridge cable, which is then going to be plugging in to the Redenso RCM. And so uh, a little bit cheaper than the ALP because you don't have to get the uh, the control pad, um, but you're still then having to buy the bridge cable, and so that plugs in that way. Um, one bonus is Redenso also does offer kind of a speeding ticket guarantee for laser if you get the, uh, the ALP add-on kit, uh, whereas you don't have that if you buy an ALP the traditional route and then plug that into your RCM. So that's kind of a pros and cons kind of thing. Personally, I like having the choice. I like having the... Uh, the ALP separate just for the uh, the alerts. I like the way that it identifies the gun, and I like that the alerts really grab your attention a lot more with the ALP. And so, yes, they can integrate, but I don't think it's too big of a deal to have the ALP control pad there. And so I personally still would prefer having them maybe separate and independent, uh, but maybe that'll change down the line if we get the same type of ALP uh, options uh, and audio alerts uh, going through the Redenso. I think that would be cool. Um, the Bluetooth is kind of nice too for maybe firmware updates from the car. That's not going to be available uh, unless you go in and you start messing with the cables and whatnot and unplug the Redenso and plug in the ALP Bluetooth. And I know that might be a little bit much for most people. It might be easier just to go home and get a USB plug plug it in, you know, a USB drive. But anyway, uh, that's a look in kind of some of the details and whatnot I've noticed uh, with the RCM uh, as well as the ALP and how all that works. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll put links in the video description to more discussion and where you can go to pick up this kind of stuff. Uh, other than that, yeah, hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.